There are settings that you can change in CK3 that make the world go insane. I changed nearly all of these, most notably having conquerors spawn all the time and increasing their buffs, having random fates appear everywhere and turning off diplomatic range. This means that we have a game where several god rulers are competing to see who can world conquest the fastest, whilst the rest of us mortals try to carve out a tiny place to call home. I've never felt like more of a side character in a game before and it's honestly one of the most fun things I've ever done in CK3. We're going to be playing as a count in Ireland just trying to survive as the world explodes into chaos. So let's see which conqueror ends up on top and if we even survive okay so if i click this button you'll see a few things start to change in the world there you go <laughs> by a few things i mean everything i have become muslim <laughs> okay i don't hate that uh i not gonna lie i did a quick run where i played as a pacifist and it was horrible i had to restart so here we go we have the unholy roman empire we have some things changed kalachuri empire instead of the holy roman empire that's now gone the papers, what the f- The Abbasids are in Rome, and they're iconoclast. The papacy is Catholic Italian, and they own Iran. Like, that's kind of huge for them. Alright, well, you, you crack on, Pope. <laughs> you crack on. England is a Taoist Hungarian, and then we've got another Muslim up here. Alright, so I'm going to be doing what I can to carve out a little kingdom for myself. Whilst keeping around the rest of the world. We also have conquerors. Should be popping up in five years. This one's just called Pagan. I'm just curious to see how this is going to work. Let's see my character. I didn't check him out. Uh, he's okay. He's not great. Do I have kids? I do. Are you any good? No. <laughs> That's fine. Let me get you an intelligent wife. And let's see. We seem to be a little bit stronger than everyone else around us for now. Let's go on scholarship. Can I declare war immediately? I think I can. Yeah, it's no cost. So, provided our, like, religious laws allow for it, we should be able to declare wars. Oh, we got our ass beat. <laughs> okay. And I've been imprisoned and we've lost. That is not a good start. How did we lose so bad? I don't even know what this is. This is Conversos. Conversos originated by Jewish communities were forced to be converted to Christianity. They have embraced their new faith. They still remember the old traditions and sympathetic to those who still follow them. I didn't even check out what my faith is. Uh, Warmonger. That works. Okay, let's try, let's try it against this guy. Oh, we are massively in debt. And our marshal died. We do have an available dynasty legacy. Um, kind of want to go down the erudition thing. I think it's literally our only chance of any sort of survival in this new world. Alright, I've started a feud against my local ruler that imprisoned me. <laughs> okay, we have money now. Let's go after this guy. Why would we lose? Defending wetlands, defending defense buildings, better army commander. We have more moderate soldiers and more menatons counters. Surely you can't be that good. My son has died at the hands of this man. Okay, he's yeah. We did lose this. This is not a good. This is this is not good. This is bad. This is this is really bad. Right, let's recruit, recruit some new knights. Let's try this again. How are we losing? Is he just that good? Yeah, he's just that guy. Okay, that's my second war I've lost. I'm running out of neighbors to fight, <laughs> and this guy killed my son. Oh, this has gone horribly wrong. You know what? I'm, I, I'm thinking too much like I'm playing Crusader Kings 3. This is a completely different game. All right? I've got to just ignore it. King of Punjab. Okay. Okay, we need more men at arms, better men at arms, and, and this time we'll win. I don't know how. Well, this is the most cursed team I've ever seen. England and France are allied. I wonder if anyone's going to pick up the Conqueror trait. Oh, yeah, we've got a Conqueror trait over here. Now, that doesn't just give him Conqueror, it also gives him Scourge of God. Which, uh, kind of ridiculous. And he has money. So we might be seeing him pretty soon. Okay, you're fighting the Holy War. Hang on, now he's winning? I'm not quite sure what's going on, to be honest. And now he's being attacked by this guy? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and kill this, this guy under here, the one that kicked our ass last time. Uh, and let's get some more Metatoms. Who's good in wetlands? Is anyone good in wetlands? You're just bad in wetlands. A horrifying noise. So you don't have enough troops to siege this. How many troops does it need? 2,000? Okay, there's another breach. I'm just gonna get rid of this. This isn't working. I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna ally the Raj of Luxembourg. <laughs> just not a sentence I thought I'd ever say. And the Kingdom of Abyssinia. I don't know why everyone wants to ally me. I'm pretty useless so far, but you know. The Gurids have conquered the Pope. <laughs> Oh, no. What faith are you? Yoruba faith. And he's 47. He's got a lot of life left to live. There's the Scourge of the Gods thing. And his son will get it as well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and build a castle, I think. I have a new plan. I'm gonna attack this guy. Because he only has 1,300 troops. And they're all sieging this down. Well, there are 2,200 defenders. So my new, new plan is to hire mercenaries. And then use these guys to declare war on everyone. Alright, this is the plan now. Declare war on you, my rival. Declare war on you, the guy that kicked my ass last time. Declare war on you, the guy that is currently sieging down that guy. So we've now turned this into a four-way war. And I have money, so we should win. Oh, okay, I can no longer murder this man. See, now they're all fighting each other. It's genius. The only issue is it's taking a long time to siege all this down. And I only have these mercenaries for like three years. And it's been like a year and a half. I don't know for being dedicated to my faith. Nice. Okay, that's one province down. And take out this guy. Greffy stopped attacking me. I've killed someone. <laughs> and I called in a little extra help from Luxembourg. Huh? The hateful house took Busi is now in the hands of Araway. She's a wanderer. Four living members. Nah, no, we're going after all of them. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna kill her, but we will. Enemy ally joins war. war. Earl Kasim is the second. Oh god. Wait, no, that's just this guy. Okay, so the mercenaries might be expiring soon, in three months. That's okay. So I'm gonna win this battle, or win this um, siege, gain another province. And then we head up here. Okay, you got your ass kicked. I called in 7,000 extra troops. <laughs> we're just about winning these, damn. Oh, we won. We catch them? Nice, good, because we were definitely gonna lose that war. All right, excellent. And just like that, we waged war against literally everyone. And also other things are built. Uh, my other temples and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. All right, here we go. Let's try and take out this girl. All right, we'll wait for one more tick. And I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of this entire family. All right. Also, Delhi somehow has land here. Let's have a look around. The Gurds have expanded a lot to the point where they're in Denmark and, and Poland. That's a little bit concerning. Why does the Maghreb have land in Iceland? Okay, Sweden's looking big as well. They're also a conqueror. I might have built that, but this was maybe too many conquerors. There's another conqueror over here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we're going to need to carve ourselves our island, and then we're just going to hide out in Ireland and contest their landings. That's, that's the plan. And, and build tool. The sage, the scholar, or a historian. Call yourself the historian. You're, you're noting down what the hell's going on with the rest of the world. All right, let's kill this young girl. This is only the beginning, right? I think the rest of them are children. There's three left. One's my prisoner. All right, let's get the other two kids. This is what CK3 is all about, in my opinion. And this is why I wanted to do this. Because, like, if too often we get caught up, or I specifically get caught up in this idea of, like, okay, here's the specific aim I want to go, go with. Not, like, oh, hey, here's this role-playing game. Although, again, I really might have overdone it with the cards. Like, Jesus Christ, he's got 56,000 troops. Oh, no. Who's he fighting against? Oh, Raven Invasion in the Kingdom of Germany. That's... He's getting closer. Go go east. Go the other way. It's actually going to take me not too long at all to convert these places. People don't think I'm the historian. Okay. I lose my nickname. That's sad. I don't really like easy pickings. I mean, you were kind of the easiest pickings I'm going to get. So let's, let's go ahead and take you out. And I'm already going like, to get my ass beat. I don't understand how this keeps happening. Let's get ordained rulership. Uh, and I'm also going to hire mercenaries again. I have double their men and it's bad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Bro, we fully lost and everyone died. What? I don't understand how Animo and Infirm. How did this go so badly? And someone tried to kill me. So who's my heir now? Back to. Do you seem. Okay. Sure. What? Like, I don't understand how I'm losing this badly. What was that? Like, we had double his troops and 7,000 men died instantly. I mean, yeah, we all died. Details, please. We counted them as well. They had Vigmen. Their pikemen destroyed us. Everything destroyed us. Bro, even their levies. Nothing in the pursuit. It was all in the main phase. I'm not sure. I don't know how that happened. We only killed 118. Who is this guy? It's not like he's some sort of mystical ruler. I genuinely have no idea what happened there. All right, let's see if it was a, like a fluke. That we got our ass beat there. We're summoning up all of our troops. We outnumber them like three to one. Better army commander, more commander traits, defensive build. What defensive build do they have? Like machine gun nests? Okay, we won that one. That's nice. How are the Gurids getting on? Yep. <laughs> Very well indeed. <laughs> I mean, the Swedes are doing okay as well. They're, they're conquering Novgorod. They're about to take that. There you go. <laughs> this is Christ. This is 
It's every five years. So basically, if, you, if you're not a conqueror, then it's over for you. Also, that, again, they're, all of their heirs, not just one of their heirs, all of their heirs will become conquerors as well. There's a holy war. Oh, I'm allied to this guy over here. Well, why do I care about that? I, I don't, is the answer. No, and I'll turned up and died. Nice to have a victory. <laughs> Let's create this tighty duchy of Ulster. I need two more counties and I can become king of Ireland. I'll be dead within a year. Oh, that's not good. It's kind of a lot of things I need to sort out before I died. I don't even know what the succession laws are, really. Wait, I need to be the king now. I need two more counties. I have to do this now. Because otherwise it's all going to slip outside of my realm. Where are you going? I've decided the best thing to do is just avoid battles. And frankly, I'm not sure how I keep losing, so I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, we've done that. I should form the King of Ireland. Nice. Let them see their new High King, because... Well, I can't see me. Now, would you guys like to become my vassal? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's fine. Alright, let's disband our army. And we'll crack on. Or we'll die. That's not good. So who are we? This guy. I can't imagine that we're going to survive long. Why do you have such little prestige? I'm, again, I'm not going to... I'm just going to take as it comes. I'm not going to organize... Like successions or anything else like that. I'm not gonna gamify it. I do need wives though for alliances. The Barnet of Nishapur. I, I don't know where these people are, but we're gonna get call them all in. The Fuzazid Shardam. Bring them in. So where are you? Okay, understandable. Are the Gurds still expanding? Yeah, now they're in Aragon. <laughs> okay, this is the same guy. Mohammed Gurd of the Gurd. Yeah, I think this is the same guy. No, is it, is, is it his father? No, this is him. He only has 29,000 troops now, whereas Scandinavia's been formed. They're still going strong. The Unholy Roman Empire seems to be trying to stop them. So how many people have conqueror traits? Let's see. No one. Oh, there we go. King Zwodnir, the Cruel of Ghana. Shahansha al Hassan of the al Hassan Empire. We've seen that one. Diego, the Gracious. Laab, the Proud. That's a pretty disappointing empire. Look at that. The Gurids and then the Deccans. Okay, fair. Cool. All right, we'll keep an eye on that list. Uh, okay, everyone of any sort of competency is, is dead. <laughs> okay, we also got given, like, the poorest land. Like, these are all, like, this place, for example, is something that I built. <laughs> it's a holding I built, <laughs> which means it doesn't have any of the, like, building upgrades. Why is the game now slowing down a bunch? All right, let's see if we can start murdering. No, there's really not too much I can do here. Please let me swear field it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel important. King of Aragon, aren't you? I think you're at war right now. Shouldn't have done that. Don't call me in. Okay. Well, I suppose it'd be good to see that. Oh my god, it was not good. It was not good to see. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, my brothers like me at least. Apart from you. Oh, you're also inbred. How are you inbred? How are you inbred? What? That's the character I was playing. Who? Who is your mother? We don't know who your mother is? What do you mean we don't know who your mother is? Did, did, did your father just produce you? You're irritable, club-footed, and inbred. But you're also whole of body? Oh, no. I'm gonna challenge you to a literalist debate, because you're inbred. Oh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> I ch I, I, what? Is it because he's so bad? Because there's such a difference. I... He suffered a heart attack and died, which has also given me all of his land? This has gone remarkably well. <laughs> oh my god. Another liberal destroyed. <laughs> Put that on YouTube. That's amazing. That's such a... Such a oh, that's fantastic. Okay, cool. Oh no. Fighting England. Okay, and the artifact claim war, so it's not like a real war. Okay, good. Because we still need to unify Ireland. Wait. Maybe I can I'm thinking, could I could I nick something here? I mean I could I could go for like a duchy. I'm gonna go for it. He's busy fighting elsewhere. Oh boy. Oh. Oh! Okay. Cool. Oh my god, now we can kick their asses. This is fun! The game is fun! Yeah, this guy sucks! And that guy's good at fighting. Finally! <laughs> Kill this man and take over the siege. Okay, my son died, but it was worth it. This guy's quick. Uh I mean he's Kind of sucks, and his wife's feeble. Why is everyone picking bad kids? But again, I refuse to get involved. Not my circus. Not my monkeys. I mean, it objectively is, but you know what I'm saying. I don't want to, you know? 
I'm trying not to meta game here. Come on, please win the siege. I need to go fight him. 74%. Can we raise any more men? 15 men. It's going to make the difference. That's a lot of troops, but apparently it doesn't matter. How are you this bad? It's like fighting me from that first war. Or the second war. Or the third war. Oh, we won. <laughs> nice. That's, yeah, that's gone well. I'm very surprised. Is this a good character? Maybe he is. I apologize. I was unfamiliar with your game. All right, well, let's test ourselves then. Nope, we'd immediately die. I, I cannot. I don't know what to do against this guy. Well, I do. It's just going to take him a long ass time to get here. I'm, I'm calling in the boys from Nishapur. <laughs> oh my god, the Gurids have taken out France. And now they're actually attacking England for the king. Oh no, they're actually going for it. Oh no. <laughs> How are the other ones get on? Albu Hassan and the Deccan. Wasn't there a conqueror over here? Yeah, he's just, he's not as good. Scandinavia's doing well. Guys, he's tired. It's terrifying. Like, we're, we're, we're kind of just surviving in our corner of the world. You look over, the people are just, yeah. This is what it's like to, to play as a normal character in one of my CK3 campaigns where I've got like a massively overpowered character. So, uh, the boy's coming. Yeah, yeah they, they're getting here. I have a son. Master Henry II of the Respected Exiles. We joined against me. Okay. I thought it was the Henry II for a second. No, I don't I don't really want to white peace. Oh, he's gone in. Why would you and you've all died. Why would you do that? Don't do it again. No, no, no. Okay, no, that's not okay, okay. We're good. He's already he's already killed a lot of a lot of troops. That I mean that was horrifying. Where are my allies? Okay, they're coming in. It's four thousand of them. That should be enough to tip the scales. But just in case it's not, I'm going to hire some mercenaries. <laughs> hire 3,000 mercenaries. Because <laughs> this was also the site of my greatest failure. Okay, now that's dealt with, let's hand out these mosques. And we're good. Just lens the left. But unfortunately, these guys are so intertwined with marriage. <laughs> I mean, we actually have a lot more troops than them. We should be fine. Okay, and now we finish off Leinster. Oh, nice, immediate win. So the only thing left is the... Good. Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I. I. <laughs> this might be the end of it here. <laughs> I don't know if I can beat the Gurds. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be next. Ghana has managed to conquer Italy. Okay. Hey, where's the Pope? <laughs> has anyone seen him? Oh, they've also conquered Bavaria. Could you guys not, like, fight each other? England's just gone. I'm I'm gonna have to wait until he's elsewhere and then see if I can nick the rest of Ireland. I've never been such a side character before. <laughs> I'm trying to become the most pious character ever, which is cool. Uh, so th let's just go on a pilgrimage. <laughs> We're probably gonna die on the way. Okay, I tried to go on pilgrimage, but instead we are uh, have been declared on by the Gurds. This, um, if you're not sure, is 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 known as really really bad. <laughs> so we're gonna call in our allies to war. Our dynasty member, who is somehow over here. I call him to war as well. I don't know how you're down there, buddy. Oh, the Gurids took out Ghana. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, they completely killed Ghana. How? Okay. One advantage, and that's that we are an island. Okay, got another ally. Let's call him in. Get another perk. <laughs> Gonna need that. Let's gather up our men. Oh, okay, we, we already lost. I was hoping to have like a grand battle, but no, we we fully lost. Wait, did we get vassalized? Okay, that's not horrible. I could deal with this. And unfortunately, because of our realm's laws, we can't declare war. Oh, he wants to give me my vassals back. Nice. Wait, this is... Maybe we rule it. What? Aren't we allied? I'm gonna take this land now, I think. Or when I get my soldiers back. Because, I mean, they killed them all. I, 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 again, I, what the hell is this? I don't understand combat in CK3, I don't think. <laughs> He's gone after Lithuania. This man is going to conquer the entire map. He's 70. And his health is good. Die. 57, 76. Oh, we're in firm. Who's going to take over for us? This guy. Ah. And our grandkid is feeble. This is not ideal. I'm going to give him... High feudal taxes in favor of war declaration being sanctioned. Because then we can actually declare war. <laughs> so we're going to use him and expand under his realm. 
Oh, it declared war for Hungary. This <laughs> is stupid, bro. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm now this guy. He is a diplomacy man. Okay, well, I'm actually going to educate this kid because I feel like educating my son, that doesn't feel wrong. Plus, I didn't actually have to do it. I was already educated him. Okay, we've actually lost all of our holdings. So that kind of sucks. Why am I... <laughs> Who is this guy? My rival. Why are we trying to kill him? <laughs> all right, first things first. Declare war, take this county. So, um, interestingly, the Gouliot Duchy is also attacking this guy. But he's instead gone to attack uh, his lands in Ghana. <laughs> so, good, good luck with that. I'm just going to be a... Uh, this is an insane way to play the game. You should never do this. I think we can win this. I'm going to do it. Because he seems very busy right now. And we've also kicked England's ass every day of the week. Yeah, he's gone elsewhere. There's a lot going on in England these days. How else is the Gerds doing? What's he up to now? He just won another war. 72 year old man. I'm gonna stay on the screen for as long as I can. Oh, we're winning that? Okay, cool. Didn't even see that there was a battle. Nice. Alright, it's another victory. Is he gonna come down again? I mean, it says we'll win. Oh no. There's more of them now. Alright, that's. I mean, that's a useful victory. That's also another victory. There we go. And we've actually unified Ireland. Unfortunately. <laughs> We are also under another ruler. But Ireland's unified, so that's cool. I'm not taxing my own... Who should I be taxing? No, he's a war against the strong in the County Lusignan. Has one of you died yet? No, he's still 80. <laughs> Just die. Give me the satrapy of Leinster. I don't... I already had it. What? Why would you make another duchy? <laughs> I don't want it. No, don't give me another... You can't give me more duchies. It's gonna make everyone hate me because I'm gonna have too many duchies. You son of a bitch. What, what would you do this for? No, I guess I'm gonna have to give it to someone. Look at this guy. Magnificent shield. Cool. Just how magnificent is this shield? It's, it's pretty magnificent. Always give me another one. Damn, you'd really think we'd collapse at some point, huh? <laughs> Are there any factions? No. <laughs> oh, okay. So he died, but his son is also a conqueror. I might have gone overboard with the, with the conqueror stuff. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna start expanding into... To England soon, but I need more fame. All right, let's go on a Majesty tour. Right, let's go. And immediately someone died, and I made my yeah, and I made my vassal my rival. Fantastic. This is really not gone away. And I'm ill, and my <laughs> uncle immediately said no to tribute. This is not gone well as a tour thus far. Another one's like isn't up for it. What? What is this? I only got four vassals. What? He's rejected as well. Oh my god. Everyone's rejecting tribute. I really want to hit the number four, like most majestic. I've never done that before. Yes, level four. Nice. Every single person has refused to give me tribute. That's ridiculous. Okay, we are illustrious now though, so that's nice. And we get treasured knowledge. I can also start a legend. Honestly, so we've actually started to do quite well um, in Taz Al Mahadi and like consolidating that. I don't feel like many places, other places have. Wait, the Pope? Martinus the Heathen, he's in the Vatican, and he has the papacy. Wait, Ghana got dunked on, I think. It's not just a kingdom, but then who owns Rome? <laughs> I'm not going to look into this. <laughs> what? Attacking King Richard's money back Scotland, the unholy Roman expansion of the okay, kingdom of Duckland. Sure, I mean, if there are any battles to take place, I'm immediately attacking Scotland. The antagonistic succession law. Titles be divided equally upon your children. Equally? I mean, that's a lot of kids he has. So what happens on succession? Oh, it's equal as well. Men and women are equal in succession. <gasps> it's going to split into eight pieces. How old are you? 76. So that's what we've got to wait for. Okay, the Battle of Drivas has been lost, which means I think it's time for us to go after you. Your liege is already fighting against King Richard. Oh, um, okay, good luck. <laughs> You're about to be under us, buddy. Stop giving me that cheese, please. <laughs> Started four months ago. I mean, the numbers are kind of even. <laughs> Bit weird. The thing is, I th like, the empire is going to tear into eight. But each of those kids are also going to be conquerors. Right, we're going to go to war over here. Oh, here come the troops. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I feel like Scotland's not long for this world. You see, you now my capital. That's annoying. Not my capital, but somewhere close to Battle should not be as close as they are. There we go. Master Comanche conquered your realm. No, I don't think he did. <laughs> I think he got the messages mixed up. That's definitely not what happened there. 
I now have to wait for him to win this war so we can fight Scotland. Uh, which shouldn't be too long. What? Crusade for France? What? You're going against Shah Alphonse. Are there any Catholics? <laughs> I don't... How many Catholics even are there? 43 counties follow this faith, which is actually, like, I think they're the largest then. No, no they're not. I'm lying to you. Where are the Catholics? A couple around here. I think they're mostly concentrated in Iran. I, I mean, they're, hard to <laughs> they're pledging their support, but like, they're fighting against the Gurds. There's such a weird deal. But stop giving me f duchies, for God's sake! <laughs> All right, well, there's the 100%, so Scotland's about to be... Yep. Oh, Scotland just got, like, straight up destroyed. Let's go after this kingdom, then. And Scotland is no more. <laughs> this is pathetic. The Holy War for the Countess Suakin. I don't know. It looked like there was more going on there, but no. He's just fighting the unholy Roman Empire right now. For this random-ass Scottish county that doesn't even exist anymore. 79. How are you in fine health? You're infirm and malnourished. Let's see if there's any more conquerors. <laughs> Uh, High Chieftain of Aif. That's going to be terrifying. Abdul Hassan, the Hawk of the Kalasid Kingdom. Didn't see that one before. Tiger of the, the Deccan, Scandinavia, and obviously the Gurds. I think there was another one around there, but I think he got his ass beat. Because if you're a conqueror and you're under another conqueror, or sorry, you're under anyone, then you uh, instantly, well, not instantly, but after a little while, you lose your conquerorship. Ooh! We're going to have a cast spell on him. No, Scotland's been formed. It's actually, that's really cool. You can see it getting given away. I wanted to take him out immediately, but it wasn't allowed, apparently. Why do I not have a Cassus Bella against you? I have my true send it over here real quick. I might as well, and I can just nip in. I could be the King of Wales. I don't want to be the King of Wales, though. Dude, France is a ma- Oh, all of my syrup in mind. Yes, please. France is huge. All right, let's shift our point up here. We're actually doing way better since the Gerds came over. Uh, I, like, I don't want to be that guy, but the Gerds have done so much for us. Big, what have the Romans ever done for us vibes? I, I mean, I assume that the crusade failed immediately, right? <laughs> like, there's no way it survived. Bro, just die, please. The weak body Muhammad is not fit for much, except for waiting for death to claim him. I beg to differ, because he's currently leading an army against who is the, con the conquest of Suakin. To be fair, the Scots had like 20,000 troops, so the fact that I'm only having to face 3,000, pretty happy with. Our uh, troops are actually good now. I'm lying. I have no idea if they're good or not. It's just... I just assume they are. Huh? The Rise of the Mongols. <laughs> Cartoon Sukkotai Genghis Khan. Dude, look at that chin. So she's Genghis Khan. Sworn to conquer the entire world. Now, now things get interesting because the only place that she can go after this... She's immediately attacked someone. But yeah, the only place she can go is Abul Hassan and some other conquerors. That's fun. We'll see what happens there. Oh, wait, what? You're already in the Mongol invasion of the Gurds. They're doing it. She's just gone for it. Surely there's no way you win, though. She has. That's insane. The first war, like, the first was to get a second county. The second war is to go after the... G You'll die. There's just no way. The primary is some random dude who's a, who's a stupid imbecile. <laughs> sure. There's no way she... Like, he's gonna, he's gonna destroy the Mongol Empire. I thought they'd... They grow a little bit before going after it, but no, the Gur I think it's because the Gurds are up here. But she's not invading the Gurd, like she invaded for Arabia. But there's double the amount of troops. I don't see how she could win this. Mongols versus Gurds, I guess. Will they even fight? I reckon it's gonna be a white piece. Oh, hang on. Occupied holdings, Barajan. But they only have one holding. No, that's that's the Mongols gathering their troops, but they have no supplies. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna see what happens. Oh, Scandinavia lost land to um the Gurds. Dude, I wish so badly that we had the replay features in um, E4. Okay, we have a new duchy to give out. I'm just going to create the duchy. Or use up the duchy. Let's grant it to Geralt. There you go, mate. Enjoy that. Where are all my Cassus Belli gone? They just have so many. Like, really cool. Like, see, what's this? Is it because... I guess it's because it's the same kingdom, isn't it? It's a shame. Because the other ones, I have, like, standard Cassus Belli. Midas Touch. It's actually a good, a good air, you know. Yeah, the Mongols are all dying to attrition. Do you think this could be my time? If I wait a little longer, like, where are his troops? He'll, he, he leads his troops, usually. So he'll be over here, right? Yeah, look, you can see his troops. And that's all of his troops. So whilst they're clashing, I might try and secure my independence. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, the air is trying to figure out supply. It doesn't know how to fight 
each other. We are pushing deeper. Oh, it's done. I think, I think we, I think they won. Oh, it was a white piece. Okay. And then immediately declared war. So I'm glad I didn't declare independence because otherwise he'd have killed me. No, yeah, he's gone to war again. The invasion of where? The Calicids. Oh, and he instantly won. What the f How? How? Nothing happened. How is he instantly winning these wars? There's something, no, there's something weird going on. Look, look, that's some, that's weird. That's weird. He's instantly, he, like, he's instantly winning. And he's declared another. Rebid invasion of the kingdom of Blemia. Which is down here. My wife died, but this is kind of more important. How was he able to win those immediately? Like, he beat another conqueror instantly. Well, his, his health is poor, at least. He's 84. But when he dies, again, the succession should be interesting. He's got even more kids now. And it's antagonistic. Ties be divided equally. Your ties are divided equally amongst your children. Against all of them. S starting with those of the same rank as the primary titles. Is, so it's going to give them a bunch of kingdoms, but they're all going to be disloyal. Is he going to split them into different... Hmm... Is he going to split them into different empires? Because that's what usually happens if you have, like, the different empire titles. And he definitely has control of Britannia, Francia, Italia, HRE. He might have Scandinavia, I'm not sure. Looks like he has the Baltic Empire. Um, he has Mali and Guinea. He has the Maghreb. Don't think he quite has the Persian. I'll have to see. Please die. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Okay. No, the Gurds, they, uh, they stay together. <laughs> But this time, he's got a lot fewer troops. And now there's Liberty Factions. And he's not a conqueror. Oh, here we go. He wants to destroy the realm of the liege. I'm going to join the Disillusion Faction. If he want independence, here we go. I mean, this is all just in time for the Mongols to turn up. This is going to be an explosion of violence. So there's... In three months, there's independence. In 14 months, there's installing a claimant. And in one month, it's all oh, max discontent. So do I have to, uh, do I have to lead it? I'd rather not. I'm going to leave the faction, I think. Because then they're going to send their own ultimatum and I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> there we go. What are you doing here? I think you know power. So what, what are you at war for? There's the disillusion war. Yeah, I'm glad. I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> uh, that seems like hard work. <laughs> I want to watch and commentate. I don't want to take part. All right. I am gonna raise my armies here, though, just to get rid of these Scottish lot. Oh, sorry, they're Welsh. Oh, Jesus, it's a lot of wars. Surely they're too disparate to do anything, right? All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for an independence war. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out of here. Well, that's a problem. He's, uh, he's a bit close to me. He's just gonna rinse me, isn't he? Don't, don't, like, prioritize the dissolution war. Don't come after me, please. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Okay, good. Go away. Go nice. <sighs> I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna go and take me out. Realistically, I'm uh, like me being independent is the least worrying thing you got going on right now, buddy. I don't think the Gurid Empire is long for this world. Okay, I could beat. I could beat this. Who are you coming in? What are you doing? Leave. Get out of Ireland, man. I don't even know who you are. Right, I'm gonna turn up and I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and fight these troops. No, my marshal died. Just I was trying to do that. So perhaps not. <laughs> Sorry, I thought for an independence war, all I had to do was defend myself. Why is it... Is it trying to make me fight him? Okay, I'm killing his troops. Do I... Do I... Do I, What? Is it actually going to make me... Okay. I'm the only one fighting the Gurus right now, man. Defender controls war goal. What's the war goal? What's the war goal? I thought I would be, like, the defender, de facto. Like, why do I have to go over and be his ass? <laughs> why? I just want to defend my lands. I think I just ate human meat. It's a weird day. Do I have to go to his capital? I think I need to go to his capital, which doesn't really make sense because I don't think in any sort of empire in, in history, really, or at any point in history. Oh my. Okay, we have to get to there. At, at, at no point in history did uh, anyone defending their land have to invade. I mean, imagine, 1776, the US kicks England out of, uh, out of uh, North America, and England goes, no, we win. You didn't capture London. Don't really make much sense. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. Tell you what, our craven lad is, is done. Well, he's not craven. Yeah, he's, he's a craven, club-footed boy, but he's, he's been doing his best. I've got to take a stupid capital. That's, that's ridiculous. I'm legitimately upset about that. Why is the local supply limit 2 million? You know what? I'm not just 
Not gonna just gonna ignore that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go for st stupid capital. Right north of Defend Island. We've <laughs> we've landed in Syria. <laughs> The annoying thing is, I'm currently technically at war. Even though, uh, like with all these like rebel nations, even though I, I shouldn't be. That was 100% and then it stopped. I think he's winning all these wars, you know. Yeah, because they're suffering the same issue where they're not taking the capital. Is he too big to fail? I think he's too big to fail. And someone killed my brother. He was killed by Duke Vivifeldo, the gentle. Who is that? Why? And he's my rival now. Okay. I don't know if I care that much. England's independent. Like, half these guys are independent. How'd they manage that? They didn't control the capital. I agree with the King of Wales. I don't want to. Is he actually... I think he's in Damascus. Let's see. How much war score is this going to give me? Oh, that, now I have ticking war score. Okay. Sure. It's been four long years, but... <laughs> we're in Damascus. We're fighting for Irish freedom in Damascus. <laughs> That's like saying invading another nation. You're protecting your own freedoms. America. <laughs> I've been living in uh, in Vietnam for the last month, so I've been I've been thoroughly indoctrinated into the <laughs> into the camp of what were you doing here, and also at the same time, uh, people telling me that um, yeah the American POWs were treated so well in, in Vietnam. <laughs> I don't know, it's great. Gotta love two sided propaganda. <laughs> but if you want to learn more, then make sure to become a channel member or a Patreon where you can see edited vlogs. I'm heading to Bangkok in like three days, my time, three days. I have like f one vlog up as of now, but I think there's uh, four more already edited. So yeah, enjoy those. It's a mix of history and, uh, and tourism. Don't dare attack me. I'm busy. I'm actually glad we declared this war, because uh, otherwise we wouldn't have been free. Who are you? Grand Amateur Zira in the Bedouin Kalika Uprising. He's actually going to win the Dissolution War. That's, that's ridiculous. He's massively outnumbered. Oh, that's why. He's... <laughs> it's a similar thing over here. <laughs> They've occupied everything, but then they have... <laughs> He's got Defender's War Score. He's too big to fail. <laughs> this is a stupid mechanic. This should change. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna DM some people. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, I think we're about to get our independence. 99... 100. Excellent. We're independent. Why did we lose the night? What? <laughs> what? We lost level of devotion. Why? Well, whilst we wait to see what happens, I have another plan. Firstly, let's ransom all our prisoners. Uh, and then let's go after England. An invasion of England. You've become the worthy. Hell yeah. I thought this guy sucked. <laughs> okay, run away. Run away. That's not good. Okay, almost died. <laughs> we almost died. That's fine. Time to hire more mercenaries. It does appear the Welsh are helping us? Oh, it's the Dutch and Gwyneth. They just joined. They just turned up. All right. Nice one, boys. Alright, we're actually going to go around the back here. Dynasty Legacy. True Believers. Why not? The Gurds, they've... No, they're not calmed down yet. That's still insane. The Mongols are doing well. They, they're growing in size. And uh, well, we've got some nice borders, at least. Uh, apart from Europe. Europe's... Well, Europe's trapped in nightmares. It's, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. It's taking a while. But we're going to take London. There we go. Plus 57%. Yes, please. That's her daughter and heir we've taken. I think we'll do this one siege and then we'll go clean up... Um, Wales, because they'll inevitably move on to another place. It's a big battle. Nice. They fell for my trap. And we've done it, 100%. That's the King of England for you. Okay, that's lag for you. I think the Gerds have... Okay, Portugal holds way too much land. The Gerds have basically fallen from grace. Yeah, they only have 12,000. They actually have fewer troops than we do. Whereas others are doing pretty, pretty well. But I think that's where we'll leave that uh, for today. A final look at the religious map mode shows that uh, some faith did start to... Oh, man. Look at that. A levy did really, really well. I don't even know what a leviism is. What is that? Huh. Cool. Uh, Pilgrimage of Forbidden. Huh. Sure. Very weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think things are starting to coalesce. Uh, if you want to go and plays for yourself, I would recommend it. It's 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 very chaotic and you kinda of have to survive the initial uh the initial conquests. However, don't forget there are always more conquerors around, like Mr. Portugal over here himself is a conqueror. And also the Bulgarians. So yeah, if you did enjoy make sure to like the video and subscribe and otherwise chaps, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, 
Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. Your support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.